Today I'm going to be showing you how to add colour to your hair, or a different colour should I say. So let's say for example you want to go for like some crazy colours in the hair, I'm going to show you how to really easily do that. First of all what you're going to do is you want to make a new blank layer, come down there, second one from the right, just click on that. Then what you want to do is you want to set that layer to soft light. So new layer, soft light. Then what you want to do is you want to come over here and grab your brush tool or be pressing or by pressing B. And then what you want to do is your opacity will be over here and it'll be set onto a hundred. What you do is you drag it down to about thirty percent. Anywhere between sort of thirty and forty percent will work really well for this, but you've got to sort of play and sort of see what you see what looks good. And then you want to do is make sure your brush is set to 0 percent hardness so it's nice and soft. Now for the best results is to get a nice big brush, so I mean you can sort of see, on the, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's a nice big brush. Um, and you can change the size really easily by using the square bracket. Right, next what we're going to do is you want to pick your colour, so your reds, pinks, blues, anything you want really, I'm going to go for, let's keep on that, sort of Cadbury's purple sort of colour, and then what you want to do is you want to start then painting it in and it will look something like this so it look fairly sort of light to begin with so that's the first layer done what you want to do is you don't want to keep clicking either you want to try and do it in one smooth motion I know it's not always easy but you can you can erase the edges and sort of eat and it all up at the end you want to do is you want to get that's the first base layer on. Now, basically, the reason behind having the brush on 30% is I know three clicks will make it 100%. Cause see, now it goes slightly darker, so now I can start adding a few more layers of darkness, give it a bit more sort of realism. And there we go, really easy and it works really well. What you want to do is press E or go over here to your eraser and get a nice soft eraser and what you want to do is just clean up the edges. And the white background on here is pretty good. It's pretty good if you've got a white background because it doesn't colour all the background up but just make sure there's no pink on her face or your face, should I say. Not that this is your face, this is her face. And then once you've done that, nice and easy, it's nothing sort of neat. There we go. Right, now next we're going to do, say for example you don't want that to be purple, you've decided that looks shite. You want to come up here, go image, adjustments, and then go to hue and saturation up with this box here and you want to go on the hue slider and from here you basically can change the colour. So let's say for example let's make a like a crazy ginger. Yeah I'm happy with that. What you want to do now is you want to um, duplicate the background layer, so that's Control and J or Command J on a Mac, and then you want to Command E or Control E to merge those two layers. So now we've got two layers, one with the original hair and one with the new hair. And then what you want to do is you want to, if you're using CS6, I can't remember if these are on CS5 or the ones below. But basically, I want to get this hair brighter, but I mean, this is just like an extra thing. So, if you use the CS6, it's great because you can come up there, click on Vibrance, and what Vibrance does, as you'll see, is it makes it vibrant. I know, it's crazy. But basically, it's a lot better than saturation because it tries to sort of miss out the skin tones, or the skin colours, more. So, rather than going all sort of bright and 
all over, it sort of tends to just brighten up the, the other colours apart from the skin. Don't know how you really word that, but yeah, that's what it means. So then, we've got a nice image. It's nice and bright, and it only takes sort of five minutes. So there we go, guys. What I'll do is I'll finish up there. My next one, I'll probably do um, how to colour eyes, so look out for that. Cheers. Bye.